With 37 major tournament wins, three world championships and an X Games gold medal, Crim6 has cemented himself as one of the greatest Call of Duty players of all time. At 28 years of age, Crim6's illustrious career has seen him amass over $1.2 million in prize money, and he isn't stopping yet. His sheer passion for the game and innate ability to win are just a few of the many aspects that place him leagues above the rest. Bates versus Crim. That's it's gonna kill! Grim drops there it is, is dear game. God! And the crowd let him know! That is a huge performance from Crim6! This passion and desire for competitive gaming hasn't always been engraved in Crim's character though, and he even had second thoughts at an early stage in his career. But fate soon took over, and a decade later he boasts the title of the winning guest Call of Duty player ever. In his early days of competing, Crim6 wasn't quite the winning machine that he is today, but he's always had a devotion to gaming. He grew up in a strict household, and despite being limited to three hours of gaming per day, he still managed to turn pro. You know, my parents were pretty strict. I grew up like having like time limits and stuff. You know, playing maybe two, three hours a day. I mean, it started at like 30 minutes. Krim began his competitive career way back in 2009, competing in the MLG Pro Circuit on COD 4. But after some poor placings in his first few tournaments, the young gun jumped ship to try his hand in a brand new game. And one of them being Crim6. Now this kid is one of the nastiest slayers we have on the circuit. Look out for him. He's a very flashy player, great with the sniper rifle. I think these guys are going to come in unnoticed in this pool, and they're capable of doing some damage. Crim6 fast-tracked his way into the professional Halo scene where he quickly became a notable player. Despite his undeniable talent, his time in Halo was also short-lived because he just couldn't get that big tournament win. And if he thought he was having a rough time of it, his luck was about to get even worse. I'm pleased to announce that Virgin Gaming will host the largest video game tournament in history for the release of none other than Battlefield 3. After Krim took a step back from Halo, he devoted his time to practicing for what was supposed to be the largest gaming event ever that never actually went ahead. The cancelled Battlefield tournament was so very nearly the final nail in the coffin for Crim6's career, he had lost all hope in competitive gaming. With a career in the Navy looking set in stone instead, a message from COD Pro Ake saved him from making the biggest mistake of his life. Crim6 received a shock call up to the Complexity roster to play alongside Ake's TP and Fears, heading into Black Ops 2. With a solid team alongside him, Crims' chances of finally getting a tournament win under his belt had never been higher. His first big event with complexity at UMG Chicago almost had a fairy tale ending as they faced Optic Gaming in the grand final, but the green wall proved too strong. And Ax picks up a kill on Merkin, is throughout, and huge play, big time, makes a big kill. And now Scum picks up on Ax, and it's a 1v2, and then TP stuck in the corner, and it's gonna be all up to this, and they have position on this, and this is it! This is it! We do have the winning. After two underwhelming fourth place finishes at MLG Dallas and COD Champs, there seemed to be a missing piece to Complexity's puzzle, and that piece was filled perfectly with the addition of Clayster. With Clay on the roster, Crim6's full potential began to shine through as the team reached new heights. Complexity took MLG Anaheim by storm as Crim6 and the squad destroyed World Champion's impact in the grand final. After an agonizingly long wait, Crim finally got his first taste of a big victory, which just made him hungrier for more. He finished off the Black Ops 2 season adding five more trophies to his collection and making big time plays worthy of a seasoned veteran. Uh, he is going to be called out, catching oh. shot in. Oh, in transition, one more player. Can Krim get the one on three? Oh, he's fighting him out. Oh, oh, Chris Six, Krim. Krim Six with the one on three clutch. Complexity staying alive here on Express Search and Destroy. The Krim bot had rewired himself to perfection, and winning became a part of his DNA. And it looks like they have given TK some oh, time, but sharp. there you see Aix with another pick, the last one alive is Sharp, and he's out. Sharp has gone down and Complexity has taken another MLG title. Complexity was simply unstoppable, 
Despite Clayster's shock departure from the squad, the arrival of Karma suited Crim6 to a T, and the results continued to flow. The biggest tournament of the year was approaching, and the stars began to align for him. Without breaking a sweat, Crimzix and the Complexity Dynasty reigned supreme. He had nearly given it all up, but now he had won the biggest tournament in COD. Most would display more emotion, but the only thing on the Crimbot's mind was winning the next one. Crim6 and co transferred over to the Evil Geniuses organization for the rest of the Ghost season, but the squad slowly started to fall apart. As one good thing came to an end, another was around the corner. The start of the Advanced Warfare season saw Crim6 take his talents to fan favorites Optic Gaming. The two players that we replace them with is actually Crim6 and Formal. Personally, I would like to welcome to the team. They are premier and high caliber players that it, you never come across, and if you have a chance to team with them, you do. As always, Crim showed no hint of nerves as he put on a show at MLG Columbus. Can just get one of these players and dash out of there pretty quick, Maven. He has a decent chance to clutch a 1v2. He's gonna pick up one kill right there, and he's gonna be able to get oh, he's out. Challenging. He's, crazy. he's gonna challenge He's crazy. He's, crazy. he's, crazy. he's, he's gonna be able to kill oh, him. Right here, all get eyes on with Jcap. Stay on with Crim. Oh, Crim is an absolute god! Crim is a monster! The Green Wall welcomed him with open arms, and his first win for Optic came at the next big event. UMG Orlando. Optic Gaming were hot favourites to take the crown at COD Champs 2015 with Crim6 eyeing up his second ring, but an early departure from the tournament led to a roster reshuffle and Crim6 reunited with a former teammate. If you didn't know, Nate Shot stepped down and I took his spot. The new lineup of Crim6, Karma, Scump and Formal would become the greatest roster in the history of competitive COD. Rattling off win after win, Crim and the boys bagged multiple first place finishes, including the MLG Finals to cap off the season. Give it up for Optic Gaming, your champions of the MLG World Finals. Black Ops 3 brought more of the same success and everything Crim6 touched turned to gold. After starting the year with a victory at the CWL Stage 1 playoffs, the rest of Crim's season followed suit. His squad were untouchable, and they were on track to finally lifting that World Championship trophy that Optic fans had been wanting for so long. But they fell at the final hurdle. 2v4, Karma informal. You have your work cut out for you. 30 seconds. That bomb is down. C9 has a very nice setup as well. Formal's able to pick up one. He's not going to get traded out as well. Karma doesn't get the second player coming. Challenge over top. Formal's going to be able to help him out. Karma going for the uh -oh. kill. Formal up to you. 1v1 situation. It's all coming over. Oh! And it's full. Later. With the competition hotting up heading into Infinite Warfare, if Crim6 and Optic wanted to break their champ's curse, this was the year to do it. A solid season and an important win at the Stage 2 playoffs left Optic as confident as ever heading into the big one. Here it is, they get the kills, everyone dead, Optic Gaming! Your CWL Stage 2 Global Pro League Champions. Dropping only five maps in the entire tournament, Crim6 finally guided the Green Wall to their first World Championship, which cemented the Optic Gaming Dynasty. The curse has been broken. The Dynasty has been cemented. They are the greatest roster in Call of Duty history. Optic Gaming are officially the Call of Duty World League Champions. Optic's champ's curse was finally broken, and Krim added yet another trophy to his ever-growing cabinet. Two dynasty squads and two world championship rings to his name was some achievement, but for Krim6, it was still not enough. After the championship celebrations, things soon took a sour turn in the Optic camp. Krim6, Karma, Formal and Scump had gone from decimating everyone in their path to not winning a single thing. The Dynasty squad split up following an early exit from CWL Seattle 2018 after winning a whopping 18 tournaments together. Crim6 stayed with Optic alongside Scump and newcomers Octane and Methods, but the season proved to be a complete write-off. Crim struggled to find success during Black Ops 4 with a team of Scump, Karma, Dashi and TJ Haley. A win at CWL Vegas at the start of the season would be his last major trophy as a member of Optic Gaming. Personal feuds within the team saw a valuable friendship with Scump turn into a bitter rivalry. Fucking emotional, bro. You're just a bitch. I went around at 30 Why seconds, you got shot in the back. Him? Why are you chasing him? I didn't Stay chase there. anybody. I didn't see anybody, you fucking idiot. You knew I didn't see a single there. person. I you pitched a 30. No, I didn't. 
Bro, you literally knew he was there. Someone died in window, called him out. You you were literally hunting him. Why hunt? Just sit in the fucking back. What? The pair won 19 championships together on Optic, but all the good times were soon forgotten by the start of the CDL. Crim6 wasn't shy in letting his feelings about his former teammates known as he established himself as the new bad boy of competitive card. We won champs together. That's, you know, something that we'll remember forever, and we did it together. So, I mean... For him to come out and like pretty much trash it and mock it and say that I don't like these guys kind of sucks, but again, we move forward and let the results speak for themselves. A switch flipped in Crim6. It was no longer just about winning, but putting his former teammates in the dirt and talking some trash whilst doing it. How everything went down, how the last two years have gone, that's all white noise now. It's all behind me, but I will never forgive, and I will never forget. Despite Skump, Formal, and the Huntsman having a stronger start to the season, the Crimbot had evolved into a whole different beast, and it was time for him to build an empire. After silencing all the doubters, Crim6 earned his third World Championship ring, as well as the tournament MVP trophy, and it tasted sweeter than ever. Months later, the feud between his former teammates grew even stronger as Formal took shots at the three-time world champ. Who do you wish you dropped but never did? Uh, Crim6. Back in Black Ops 3. Who do you- what the fuck? You <laughs> did that so quick. <laughs> uh, what do I do with the card? <laughs> <laughs> Crim6 fired straight back with digs of his own as the biggest CDL rivalry continues. With the 2021 CDL Championship on the horizon, the frightening new and improved Crimbot is not ready to be deactivated just yet.